Uh, this book is Thomas Kerrigan's Home for Peculiar Children. It's written by Ransom Briggs. The reason why I chose this book was because of the author and teacher who have recommended and the blurb and the pictures that were inside the book were also really interesting. Uh, one quote from this book was, when someone won't let you in, stop knocking. The setting of this book was really mysterious and interesting. It was set during the 1900s, 21st century. Uh, it was also set on a deserted island in an orphan, abandoned orphanage on the coast of Wales. Uh, at the start of the book, it was also set in Florida, where the main character, Jacob, was born and raised. <laughs> uh, the characters in this book include the main character, Jacob. Uh, he was 16 years old, and he was the one who was looking for the island. And his father, who accompanied him to the island, his grandfather, who passed away during the first chapter, uh, and a lot of photographs of the peculiar children on the island, like Victor, Emma, Olive, and Mr. Uh, the plot of this book is about uh, Jacob trying to find the mystery of the, the island based on the story that had been told by his grandfather the class when he was young. And when his fat grandfather died, he went on a journey to look for the island. Um, um, uh, knowing, trying to find the truth about why his grandfather died, and was there such an island, was there such an orphanage. Uh, the trust, uh, the theme of this book would be trust, because I feel like without, without trust, Jacob would never found the island, and would never know about the truth about himself, and the truth about his family and his grandfather. Um, uh, without trust, okay, um, recommendation, I would recommend this book to people who like to enjoy creating pictures books because in the story, in the book, there were a lot of pictures that gave you a glimpse of what those characters may look like, especially the peculiar children, and the image was really, really mysterious.